Hi everybody. I am about to go and have my operation on my, my hydra seal attended to. And I'm not as cheerful as I would like to be. I'm apprehensive. You're scared stupid. Scared stupid. <laughs> apprehensive. I was just saying to Fidelma, there's a little form I had to fill in with all my details and there's a bit that said, do I want to keep my body parts? And I said no. Any leftover body parts they can keep for for science or something. So anyway, um, the next time you see my pretty face, presumably I won't be it'll smiling. Be half, it'll be half a stone lighter, that's for sure. Yeah, half a stone lighter and uh, probably wincing a bit. <laughs> <laughs> but not mincing. Um, all right, see you in a while. Bye. Beautiful, sexy underwear on. <laughs> Hi, can I come in? Okay. I am now discharged from the hospital. It is now 3.30. That is approximately three and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> Maths is really hard when you start at noon. Um, since I went in and I am now, I was going to say complete, but now I'm incomplete. It's it's um, finished. Things are tender. I'm a bit dopey, but all in all, it feels like a success. They said there was no problems. My nose is very itchy. Don't know why my nose nose is itchy. I see my nose is itchy, but that's not right. Um, and yes, it's all good. Uh, I see surgeon in six weeks and I have been given paracetamol and tramadol and they also noticed that I have access to morphine so they said I can have that too um, so yeah yeah hooray uh, once the swelling goes down hopefully I will be like a regular man. <laughs> ah. So, so, so I get home, I get home and, um, you know, eventually realize that I've got all this padding, um, in my groin, around my groin. And, um, you know, it's all sort of covered in blood. It's kind of unpleasant. And and you don't really know is that is this is this is this the correct amount of blood? After a while, you realise well, this is now too much blood for this thing. I should put something else there instead, I suppose. I, I guess. Um, so I decided that I did not have a heavy flow, and yet. So that so although the product that I used had wings, um, it, it it didn't need to deal with a heavy flow, so that was good. But um, it was just kind of disturbing, and 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 Fidel was like, "We should put peas on it," and I'm like, "Frozen peas? We should, we should put frozen peas on it." And I think, should we? My little my little instruction leaflet doesn't mention frozen peas or frozen anything, but I know it's good for bruising. Uh, so I sort of try to search the internet and it, it tells me that, that, that frozen things are, are great for bruising. They're not really great for surgical, you know, for, for healing. So I go, oh, well, maybe I, I won't then. It was just like, I wanted a set of goddamn instructions on how to deal with my busted balls. And I didn't get them. I had to make shit up myself. And I don't like listening to me about things I don't know about. Um, so anyway, time marches on and, and very sore, um, testicle, uh, and you start, is, is this normal? I don't know. A little bit of paper doesn't tell me. Uh, it's lost and alone. So I spent quite a few days just lying in bed going, saying, staying very still and, um, and mending. That was, I was, my little brain was going mend mend because I've got this you also read on the internet that this surgery uh, can be accomplished with uh, you know, keyhole surgery 
and and robots and and it's all very intricate and cool well i can assure you that almost in hospital i was not uh, benefiting from keyhole surgery or a uh, a robot it was a man with a very big knife so i've got this masterful scar it's just it's 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 the the frankenstein neck kind of scar it's it, it's spectacular that that runs yeah it, it's big it's big and um sitting on firm chairs is is not to be recommended that that um tends to end very uncomfortably and i have to go lay down, lay down for a little while and let my body recover uh, things are worse when i stand um gravity doesn't seem to like my testicles very much or perhaps the other way around um and uh you know there's a knock on the front door and nobody else was around so i i heroically um staggered to the door opened the door to to see our front neighbor going hello how are you uh she their their small child has a birthday coming up and it'll affect the driveway and la, 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 la. and my balls started to really get quite painful so i had to explain excuse me i'm just going to close the door a little bit on you but it's not it's just so i can hold my balls because my balls are very so i just had surgery and she looked at me like what what you where, where did you have surgery and i said i'm a balls <laughs> she said, oh, okay that's lovely <laughs> but i had i was holding them behind the door so she couldn't see anything it was totally okay and um and it amazed me so that was all right um i i have had a ct scan result and that came back all, all fine in in that uh there are no new tumors no growth no nothing no shrinkage but um but not worse and uh not worse is fantastic um yep yeah, yay 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 uh hurrah <laughs> thanks for listening talk to you later bye